It's Sam 100.7, Tony Rose Morning Show, getting things happening. And, of course, uh, one of the, the summer sensations on uh, TV is the new NBC hit show, The Singing Bee. And uh, with us, uh, well, you, you first fell in love with her on, on Rockstar. Now you know her uh, from The uh, Singing Bee. Deanna Johnson, how you doing? I'm great. How you doing? I am doing fabulous. And, oh. of course, uh, we've been uh, checking out your website today and, and, and finding out you know, all, uh, all the news that is you. And we found out you're pretty much located now. Now, just right down the road from Bowling Green, Kentucky. You're in Nashville doing a lot of stuff now, right? Yeah, I'm living in Nashville and loving it. Wow, wow. Yep. Now, uh, before the, I guess, the world of rock star and everything, were you in Nashville much? Or, I mean, how long have you been in the in the area down there? I actually had never been to Nashville until um, last October. Wow. My first time visiting, and I just fell in love with it, fell in love with the people, music scene, and I moved there, I don't know, four months later. <laughs> very, very cool. Well, it's, a, it's a great town. I, you know, Second Avenue in Nashville, it, it just it, it doesn't get much more fun than that, you know? It's great. <laughs> yeah, so great. Now, real quick before we talk about the singing bee, we got to talk a little bit about Rockstar, if that's cool. What sure. was that experience like, first of all, just going through the casting process and then getting on the show and then getting to meet, you know, the, the band and everything? Just tell take us back through that time a little bit in your life. Yeah, you know what? It was, um, it was the best and worst of times. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it was it was great. I mean, it opened up a lot of doors for me, and um, you know, I got to meet some great people being on the show. Made some awesome lifetime friends, and you know, getting on TV is. Uh, I didn't think it would be as impactful as it was, but it's right. it's weird how you know your family responds to that and your friends. And TV is really powerful, and it uh, it was <laughs> it's just really interesting <laughs> to be a part of that. I'm really thankful for that. But What's your was, most? It was tough. It was really tough. What's your most memorable performance on the show, the one that you still think about sometimes in the shower or just when you're hanging out around the house? It still kind of gives you chill bumps, you know? Um, well, I, uh, you know, I really appreciated being able to write a song and perform that on national television. Right. I thought that was the best um, moment for me to be able to do that. Very cool, very cool. And, of course, uh, and of course, now, you know, I guess you're doing some, I guess some cameo roles, if you want to call it that, on The Singing Bee. Tell us, <laughs> yeah. t- tell us how you came across, uh, across this project. I know a lot of folks, this is the new hot show of the summer. There's a big buzz about it. Kind of yeah. tell us how you came involved with it. I, um, I travel to Los Angeles still for work, um, right. for performing, actually. And I just happened to be there one weekend, and a friend of mine told me they were auditioning for this new show. And, you know, so I just auditioned and ended up staying there an extra two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> and made it through all the auditions, shot the pilot with them, and right. um, that's how I got involved. Man, now, have you got, did you get a chance to meet Joey Fatone and all that stuff? Did you get a chance to hang out with him any? Um, yeah, well, we hang out with him on the set. He's, uh, he's a really sweet guy. He's very personable and very likable. <laughs> really, now, now, cool. now, off the camera, is he still more? Is he is he now recognized? You think as Joey Fatone from Dancing with the Stars or Joey Fatone from NSYNC? Who, 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 how is he more recognized? Well, you know, it's funny. I mean, for me, he's Joey <laughs> Fatone from NSYNC. But I know my aunt. I was just talking to her, and <laughs> she's like, "I love that Joey Fatone from Dancing with the Stars." You know, where does he come from? Who is he? You know, he's never even heard of the band in sync. So. <laughs> well, there you go. You know, it's, yeah. it's, it's, he's, he's, he's yeah, mark, mass marking the pill. Of course, uh, Singing Bee on tonight at, uh, at 8.30. Mm-hmm. And uh, you rocked it out on there, of course, on July 10th. When can we, when can we see you on there again? You know what? Uh, I'm on every show, but, yeah. you know, it's uh, quick. <laughs> well, well, that's true. Well, you know, but we, we look forward to seeing you on there more. And and real quick, I was looking at your bio here. Amazing influences that you have. So many artists that just absolutely rock out. And mm. and I mean, just going down the list from Janis Joplin to Leonard Skinner. If yeah. you if you had to pick right now and pop a CD into your CD player in your car, what what would you pop in? Uh, Janis. Really. Janice. Yeah, yeah, Janice Joplin. Wow, yeah. wow! They're, so they're on the ultimate mixtape for Deanna Johnston. It was <laughs> Janice on there. And of course, you got a real good story too. Of course, uh, you're from Canada originally. Yeah, uh, originally born and raised. Mm-hmm. And how in the world did you get into to singing? I mean, just tell us that story. It's a, a, a little unique story there, I guess. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> come on, come on, share it. This point. You got to share it with us. Um. Yeah. Well. Okay. Picture a shy kid. I was very shy, and I just. You know, I would never think in a million years of singing. I was actually totally in the sports. And right. uh, just had this boyfriend who, uh, you know, I was in first or second year college. Yeah. I'd been in love with this him since I was five years old, honestly. <laughs> and uh, he was a drummer in a band. He ended up breaking my heart 
you know, he's kind of, uh, mm, he strayed a little with a girl singer, so for some reason Uh-oh. I thought if I could sing, then he would, you know, come back to me or whatever, so. Well, there you go. It's a pathetic story. No, it's, it's a good <laughs> story. No, it's a good story. And then, of course, and then from that, now you have tons of material to write songs about, right? That's right, yeah. actually, yeah. <laughs> There's lots of, uh energy <laughs> and, and well, speaking of songwriting uh you, you've got some uh, very cool stuff going on there as well tell us yeah. about your songwriting uh aspirations there as well yeah um yeah i mean nashville's the place to be for songwriting and right. uh just working working hard there and meeting a lot of people and networking and I actually right. have a song on jolyn turner remember jolyn turner from rainbow and deep purple oh yeah 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 he um he he releases an album you know every two years or so and I met him uh, in L.A. about, I don't know, two years ago and wow. wrote a song with him, and it's on his record and doing really well. And wow. So, uh, yeah, some good things happening. Very, very cool. And what was it like performing uh, for Oprah? <laughs> um, <laughs> scary. It <laughs> <laughs> felt like, you know, it felt... Uh, it was more nerve-wracking than rock star in excess, that's for sure. Wow, <laughs> wow. So, are, so you're, you're a big Oprah fan as well? I mean, is Yeah, it, I'm an Oprah fan, and just, you know, the clientele at this party was pretty heavy. <laughs> 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 um, but Oprah, man, she's, she's an amazing woman in person. She's Very cool. She's, oh. uh, she's awesome. Oprah for president, do you vote? Absolutely. Yeah, for Oprah, I, I would do. I would do it. You know, yeah. I think she could straighten some things out. She, she'd probably do it for free. You know, she, it'd, be, it'd be a pay cut. I know that. Yeah, anyway, uh, but <laughs> it's pretty cool. The singing bee on uh, tonight, of course, on NBC every Tuesday night, uh, and and it's 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 uh, it's the hot show. It's the new hot show of the summer. We're fired up about it. And real quick, with you being down in Nashville, we got a lot of folks from uh, from Bowling Green and the Southern Kentucky area who come down there on a regular basis. Where can folks kind of check you out down in that neck of the woods? You know what I do? Uh, I host a writers' night um, twice a month at yeah. Twelfth and Porter. So cool. you can come down, check that out. It's on Thursday night. And of course, your website and MySpace. Give those out to everybody real quick before I let you get out of here. Yeah, MySpace is uh, MySpace forward slash Deanna Johnston. Right. And my website's DeannaJohnston.net. Dot net on that one. Deanna, thank you so much for coming on, taking some time out today, and uh, continue best of luck to you. I know you got a lot of fans here, not only from the Singing Bee now, but from the Rockstar days as well. So uh, I know it's great catching up with you. I know they enjoy uh, spending some time with you here on the, on the air and everything. Oh, thank you so much. It was great talking with you. And get down to Nashville. Check her out at 12th and Porter. Find out all the details at DeannaJohnston.net. Thank you so much. Continue best of luck. We'll see you on uh, NBC Singing Bee tonight. Thank you. Have see a great day. See ya. Bye-bye.